What is going on today guys? Tom Cat here and today I'm bringing you guys some Forza Horizon 2 and we're going to be doing a drift challenge in my 2JZ swap uh, GT86 and the biggest thing that uh, that I need to cover before we get into this video is the fact that I'm not doing this as a live commentary. This is post recorded. Um, I tried a bunch of times doing this as a live commentary and I I don't know I just kept hitting traffic cars and it just it didn't end up going very well um, every time I tried to do a live commentary so I decided to do a post commentary so I could just focus on the game and uh, it ended up turning out pretty well I mean we posted a decent score keep in mind that since I had to restart the game this is before I was able to unlock any of the um, uh, what's it called the extra score multipliers and the things that'll get your uh, score up quite a bit higher this is like at the base level of scoring so I think it I think it did decently well. I mean I think at the end I was at a base uh, score before multipliers of about like 120,000 points. So not too bad, not too bad at all is actually for the first uh, really the first high scoring run I attempted with this car. So the, the actually though the funny thing about it is the fact that I I built it and I forgot to tune it after like my first few runs and I was like why does this not feel right? And then I went and looked at the tune and I was like, "Oh, this is stock. Why did I leave a stock tune on a GT86 with 950 plus horsepower and a 2JZ swap? I mean, you can't do that and expect, you know, reliable, decent results. So I went back and retuned it, and things worked really well after the retune. And it, I want to say it's, it's a really stable car. It's not twitchy. Um, if you've ever taken some uh, some of the really light cars in Horizon 2 and and really put a lot of power to them and then tried to take them drifting, they they became a little twitchy and almost not I wouldn't say uncontrollable, but a couple of them got like a little squirrely at times. This is just totally planted. I mean, the tire setup I'm running is 235s in the front, 265s in the back, so a little bit of a stagger. But when you're running over 900 horsepower, you really need that in a light car like this. You need that stagger to keep really keep that. Uh, the, keep the back end in check, but still allow it to slide. I could have gone with wider tires in the front and the rear, but I decided to uh, to keep it a little bit uh, to back it off just a little bit so that it wasn't uh, so that it wasn't you know ridiculously crazy or anything and like hard to slide the car um, around. Now the other th other kind of tip that I have if you're doing a high scoring run, do it at night because as you can see. There's not much traffic at all. The biggest issue that you run into a lot of the times when you're trying to do high scoring runs like this is traffic. They come out of nowhere and they plow into you and they make you scream and cuss and it's just, it doesn't turn out well. Um, I know this because I that's what happened when I attempted those live com runs. <laughs> but um, I really feel like the traffic is the biggest, um, the biggest factor that can, it's the biggest unknown variable when you're doing these high scoring runs because if you're doing a high scoring run and especially if you're heading up a hill like this in the dark you don't know if some SUV is going to be right on the other side of that hill waiting to um to basically destroy you to slap you in the face and destroy you so it really comes down to how aware you are of the other uh, AI cars around you I shouldn't say AI, AI cars but drive cars and if you want to at the end of the video if you see the score and you want to attempt um, another, just another score to try and, uh, to try and, I don't know, just maybe beat that score or see how close you can get to that score. Feel free to do that. I'm, I, I wouldn't say it's a ridiculously high score. I'm not calling it a ridiculously high score. I would say it's a good baseline for the future, but I'm not going to say like, oh, it's the most ridiculous score that's ever been posted. Cause it's not, it's a score that's kind of shows where the benchmark is being set for this car because any runs I post with this car from here on out are going to have higher scores uh, than this run. So, and I'm talking about higher baseline scores. But when you think about it, if you've got a higher baseline score, then you're also going to have a higher uh, post multiplier score because your post multiplier score is going to be higher anyway, you know, depending on your baseline score. And now it's going to be even higher because I've been able to, un I've since this video, um, since this video, I've been able to unlock those score multiplier uh, perks and stuff like that, but I kind of enjoyed doing it without the perks because it's like your raw score at that point. There's no um, assistance at that point. You're just kind of, at this part was scary. I got hit by that traffic car and then I thought I was going to go into that tree. I, I was certain at that point that my score was done, gone, finished, but 
thankfully, we were good to go at that point, and I don't know if, like, just, like, the gods of Forza were smiling upon us or something, but we made it out of there, and we made it out of there with our score, so I was very, very, very pleased with that. And if you want to know the setup for this car, if you guys want me to show you the setup, I can do that. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys really want, uh, want me to show you the setup I have on this thing. And I'll be doing more of these scoring challenges as we go forward in the future because I enjoy them. I really like doing um, challenges where I kind of push myself and challenges where um, you're really, really focused on doing, uh, kind of doing a challenge. Wow, I just hit my uh, desk. <laughs> I was just like, I, I talk with my hands, and I'm moving my hands around, and I was like, boom, hit my desk. Wow. Anyway, the biggest thing that I, that, um, I, I guess I want to focus on with these is it's about improving my overall skill, and it's about showing you guys that, that kind of that little bit of a journey, that little bit of a travel to, uh, to showing, to, uh, to showing that improvement in skill, and hopefully this helps you guys improve your skill as well, um, in trying to, uh, post scores, and if you, if you, if one of you guys posts a score that's like, massive, like, way beyond my score, post it on YouTube, and I'll take a look at it. I might even post it up. We'll see. Um, but I think we might get a really good thing going with these, because it's a way to challenge the community. It's a way to up that, like I said, the skill. And I really like to see skill improve. I really like to see um, my own skill improve. I like to see the skill in the club improve. Um, and talking about the club, you guys are beasts when it comes to XP. I mean, you guys are, uh, are really racking up the XP like crazy. But, um, we're well over, well, I wouldn't say well over 100,000 points now, but since we beat our target of 100,000 points, the next time our target's gonna be 200,000 points before the multiplier. And, the, and you heard that right, before the multiplier. Our next, uh, Drift Challenge target is gonna be 200,000 points before the multiplier, and hopefully I've said that enough times, <laughs> just to make sure um, we're all good to go with that, but um, our final score ended up being 566,000 um, because of the fact that we only had the baseline multiplier, but if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.